The Integrated Coastal Sciences PhD program, or the ICS PhD program, is ECU's flagship coastal PhD program. It is a truly unique PhD program in that students get rigorous training in both natural sciences and social sciences. That's not something you find in a lot of PhDs. The other unique aspect is that they really learn how to do team science while they're going through the curriculum and they learn it both through formal coursework and they learn it through their dissertation research. Their committee is made up of faculty that represent both natural and social sciences and they really learn how to problem solve in uh, a variety of areas. It's an effort to amalgamate different disciplines, um, especially the natural and the social sciences, to create a more holistic perspective on the processes that are going on on the coast with the human and the natural ecosystem. One of the great things about this PhD program in terms of preparation for job skills in the next century is that students are really learning that complex problems at the coast take a team of researchers to solve. And so they learn the language of other people who might be part of a team that they deal with in addressing a wicked problem that a coastal area is facing. We here in coastal North Carolina deal with a lot of complex issues from flooding to storm management and impoverishment in coastal plain areas. So to understand those problems, you have to understand what type of team you need to put together and what types of language you have to be able to speak and what skill sets and data you have to be able to analyze. And that's where our students get that training in the program. My favorite thing about the program is that we can choose from a variety of different topics as long as it has a coastal focus and it's somewhat related to natural and social sciences. I have a background in economics. I've only been really in touch with other economists and now I can interact with all these people from geology to ecology to all planning sciences. Like I have this really great community of people that I would have never thought of being able to work with. The students that come in into the PhD program take a variety of courses, basically coastal geosciences, coastal ecology, coastal human dimensions, and coastal economics and policy. They learn research methods and uh, they learn data analysis. But what really separates our program and makes it unique is that they take two other courses called integrative problem solving in coastal areas. And in the first part, or the first course, what they learn is a theoretical approach to integrated problem solving in coastal areas. In the second part, they actually get a practical problem to solve as a cohort of other students. They address a problem that is facing people right now, and they learn how to work with other people, they learn how to gather data associated with the problem, and then provide a solution you know, that's the great thing about these classes that we're required to take is if there's a school that you haven't had the chance to learn yet during your, your master's or your undergrad, you can go ahead and get that squared away. If there's new skills that you want to learn, it's encouraged, you can do it, you have access to all the courses on campus, every department. It's not super structured besides just the core requirements. This Coastal PhD program trains the students to address the complex problem from multiple perspectives and present it from day one to social scientists and managers and translate that science and communicate that science to a broad audience. That's what makes this program unique is that they see their problems, the coastal problems and the complex problems facing the coast from a variety of perspectives that they use to then solve the problem. We are so diverse in our interests, what we study, where we're from, that interdisciplinarity and that diversity is hard to find in other PhD programs.